<laughs> okay, one more. Here's an old one to um, celebrate that I've been reading here for 20 years. Whoa! Yeah. Hey. I think I read this story here about 20 years ago. In the morning, I went next door to Ed's place. I found him at the kitchen table. He said, you believe they suspended us from the track because that guy hit me in the mouth? They didn't do a fucking thing to him. He's a trainer. You got anything to drink? <laughs> Says, I got a half pint of vodka on the shelf. Have a slug of that. No, I don't mean, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. You got any juice? No juice. I got ice water in the fridge. I pour some into an orange plastic cup, swallow a gulp, and wince. What is this? Spring water. Tastes funny. <laughs> How come it tastes so funny? That's because you're used to drinking that shit water from the faucet, that's why. I just don't taste right. That's artesian spring water, he explains. Bought from Fazio's. This must be a spring on the south side. <laughs> you're just not used to... Where'd you get that cup? In the dish rack here. Ah, oh, you know what? I used that cup, I had pine salt in that cup. <laughs> The I must not have rinsed it out all the way. God damn it, what's the matter with you? I sat down with the pine salt glowing in my throat. Oh, I need a fucking shot of vodka to chase that way. I got up, took a swig from the bottle, and sat back down, annoyed with him. I lit a cigarette. Then I said, Who was that you said you'd seen that guy out there before? What guy? Knox, the head of security at Thistledown. Oh. I went out there, this like five years ago, I would never do this now, and I had a pocket full of them, not cherry bombs, but M80s? Yeah. Oh, man. I used to sit up on the steps leading to the grandstand. You know, there's that series of stairways all in a line, but some of them were closed at the top, which with like metal garage doors, right? So I was sitting up there reading the form, and I had these M80s in my pocket. So I tore the filter off my cigarette, stuck the wick of one on, these, one on one of these firecrackers, and then on the end, right? And walked down the steps, you know, with my form and my program, and my hat and my pipe and glasses and slippers. <laughs> Just sat on the bench like an old man reading the form. About 10 minutes later, boom! Fucking people scattered, man, what the fuck? You know? These things were equivalent to a jumbo firecracker, but inside a big monumental fucking concrete thing, man, it sounds like a fucking grenade, you know? Everybody's kind of looking, you know, no big deal. I said, that's fucking great, man. So there was like six of these stairways. Go down to the next one, go way up to the top there, read the form, look around like John Dillinger, put another wick on there, light it, walk down, just relaxing, boom! People, what the fuck, another one? Some of the old timers are getting pissed off. You know, people get mad, disturbed, you know. When you get scared, you get mad. I know that myself. Thought, man, this is great. Nobody in the world, no, I did that, man. I, I could see how people get away with crimes, you know. So I went to the next one, right? Totally in the clear, people kind of milling around. I put another one on there, go down, same thing, boom! Everybody runs over there. Now the security guards are out. What the fuck's going on here? They got radios, Knox is there, sport jacket. I walk over, fold my form under my arm. What's, what's wrong, officer? I said, kids are throwing firecrackers from up there. We'll get them. Right, yeah, that's dangerous. What, are they up there from the cracks up there? Yeah, we think they're dropping them. So while they're investigating, I backtrack. Put another one up there. Boom! They go running up there. Six of them fuckers I lit off, right? The whole security force was out. Then I got scared. I go, man, this is this is big time. This is like inciting a riot or causing mayhem. You know, they got a crime, like it's called mayhem or something. The whole track was shook up. Even the jockeys are wondering, what's going on? You know, somebody's shooting us? I got one left. Here's Max the mailman, who lost three homes, his wife, his business, everything he ever owned. He's totally in another world, 9,000 keys on his ring, 9,000 pens in his pocket. He just walks around in a daze, Max the mailman. Lost his mailman job for 30 years, he had a side business, total racetrack degenerate. 
they got this big rubber plant there with all these wood chips. I got one left. So I bury it in these wood chips, put the cigarette there. I walk away, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Here comes Max, reading his form. Stands right next to the fucking thing. I go, holy fuck. Boom! Fucking chips flew up. What the fuck? He jumped so far. He's looking around, patting his hands all over his, you know, make sure he's all still there. When chips flew all over the place, the grand finale. Nobody could figure it out. The security guard's there at Dildos, as you know. But he was so Why I did that? But I walked out of there going, here, I just fucked up this whole racetrack. <laughs> If you were there, you'd have to think, what, there's some fucking rioters or, you know, somebody losing their head shooting? Yeah, right. And I did it so nonchalantly and discreetly walked back down, sat on the bench, then five minutes later, boom, walked to the next one, boom, you know, boom. I did it with no regard for my safety or nothing. <laughs> Went back the next day and, honest to God, the next day and the next day after that, they had extra security people out patrolling around, like for a week, they were shook up there. I cost them a lot of man hours.